not all the time will it necessarily be a phase. Occasionally it can be and you might switch to something else throughout like discovering what you want to be. But majority of the time I would say it's not. No, it's not a phase. It is definitely not a phase. Um, I mean, I mean you can, um, uh, people change around when it comes to stuff like this. Like you can, uh, um, um, uh, think you're like trans for a while and then you can uh, identify as non-binary afterwards. Like you have, after you have more to think of it. Um, but it's not a phase. I don't think it's a phase. Some people, it may, um, it is kind of a fad sometimes, but for me and lots of other people it isn't, and it's something really difficult that's hard to go through. Um, it's stressful. <laughs> it's definitely stressful. So I came out. If there's any people out there that are LGBTQ and want, are wanting to come out, I recommend like talking to your friends, talking um, to people who actually care about you, and not just some um, I don't know, not mean people. Don't talk to mean people. They're mm -hmm. bad. They're bad. Scary. Um, I know when I came out, it took. A week for me to even get the courage up and even then like I knew my parents would be accepting but it was still hard a lot of the time it is difficult to come out from past things that have happened to you or parents not being so accepting but yeah it is a bit you can struggle a lot with coming out to specific people others it might be a little bit easier because they have more trust with the person but Occasionally, it will just be really, really difficult. toxicity and gatekeeping in it but um for the most part it's just really welcoming and open um what i like about it is that a lot of the people understand what you're going through and have been through it themselves so they're really supportive and they can help you through a lot of stuff i feel more free about myself quite a few mostly the, they're mostly just slurs that would upset a normal person obviously but anything disrespectful like if you're just trying to be disrespectful by calling them names that can be very just they could be very upset about that and they could personally just hate you or they get really upset uh, certain slurs um, like the F slur um, for the older um, queer community or older LGBTQIA plus community queer would be a slur for them but just ask what's good and what's not good for people. No, you're not. You're, you're definitely not. You're, um, you're just attracted to people that, um, yeah, you just, um, uh, um, you can, uh, um, be attracted to whoever you want. You don't have to be attracted to everyone that's gay. That's the thing. Everyone, um, I'm not attracted to everyone that's gay. I don't think you have to be. 
No, I still have preferences and like prefer like, uh, preferences definitely and just like there's not everyone that I just find attractive. triggering. Um, I know um, when I got called my dead name uh, like by old friends it really just affected me mentally. Um, I just hate being dead named. That's one of those things that I hate. Um, uh, I don't understand why people do it. Um, uh, one of my friends actually did it out of, was doing it out of spite so I just I just blocked him and stuff. I just don't talk to him anymore but it was that was pretty annoying. Um, it can be a trigger to people. Um, uh, um, it can trigger like uh, things like trauma, like people um, really, um, I don't know, it's just not accepted in the community because it's messed up. Um, people want to identify as a certain gender and if they're getting called their old name and um, they don't feel comfortable in that. So I think that's stupid how people would say that. A lot of people can have had gender dysphoria over their original name which could lead to some really bad mental health problems so it would be best not to call them by that because it could trigger them and they could get really upset and start crying or they could hurt themselves or over it. bad people we're just normal people with normal lives and probably someone you know is probably part of the LGBTQIA plus community um, I would like them to know that it can be very difficult and it can like affect your mental health a lot so doing the bare minimum to just help them with it throughout their journey or whatever <laughs> because um, saying like if they're trans call them my pre their preferred name and preferred pronouns just to make their journey a little bit easier yeah we are just regular human beings we should uh, um, be appreciated more i mean there is a um a lgbtq like youth group in Toowoomba from what i know mm -hmm. um and they're good um i'm happy that um they're um here um, so a lot of the time that uh, a lot of the stuff that makes it difficult is um, just the harassment you can get from it. Like people constantly tell you you're confused or you're wrong or that whatever you so choose is wrong because they don't either understand or they just don't want to support you. That can be very difficult and all the bullying and stuff can be very difficult too. Them pronouns are um, uh, probably the best to use. Mm -hmm. Or you can ask them. You can ask uh, you can ask them your pronouns if you don't know them. Uh, um. Use proper pronouns and names. Uh, be open. Uh, not being discriminatory. I think there's not really a way to change people's perspective of it. But if we mm -hmm. um. Uh, if we can just appreciate it and like um, accept it, just uh, just ignore it. If you see a gay person and you don't accept it, um, uh, or you have a different opinion on it, just ignore it. I recommend. I would suggest asking people what their pronouns are, because then they could tell you, and then you could use them. But other people might get really offended if you ask them, and not just know straight away for some reason. Well, if you don't know someone's pronouns, it could be easier just to use they, them because that's kind of just the universal pronouns if you don't know the preferred ones. We aren't all, um, like, druggies or just bad people. We're just normal people with normal lives 
and probably someone you know is probably part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Thank you.